Hi, and welcome to this edition of Vero News Rewind. I'm your host, Debbie Carson. Let's take a look at this week's news. A new charter school, Vero Beach Academy, may be moving into the former St. Edward's Lower School campus. A developer under contract to buy the property has reached out to the charter school community in hopes of finding a willing tenant. St. Edward's, which recently consolidated its lower school with its upper school, had been under the impression the developer planned to build 10 high-end homes on the property. How a charter school could impact the private school remains to be seen. Lifeguards won't be guarding the beach at Treasure Shores after all. Commissioners finalized their budget this week without funding the positions. The beach is the only ADA-compliant beach in the county. The Sebastian City Council passed a resolution to support keeping the lifeguards, and residents organized a petition drive to support the cause. In other news, Sebastian City residents can expect to see their city tax bill decrease after the Sebastian City Council approved the same tax rate as last year. Due to declining property values, most of the property owners should see less of their money going to the city. The China national baseball team has begun training at the Vero Beach Sports Village. The team is expected to hold nine exhibition games between now and October 24th at Holman Stadium. And 81 Vero Beach High School students earned Advanced Placement Scholars Awards for their performance on AP exams. Only 18% of 1.6 million students around the world who took AP exams performed well enough to earn AP Scholar Awards. Good job, Vero Beach High School students. Tonight, all three of our high school football teams are playing, though only Vero Beach High School will be playing at home. The Fighting Indians will take on the Westwood Panthers starting at 7.30 tonight at the Citrus Bowl. Sebastian River will play Centennial High, while St. Edwards will challenge Merritt Island Christian. As always, remember to check out VeroNews.com after the game for coverage. From a classic whodunit at the theater to a no-flea flea market, there's plenty to see and do this weekend, so get out there and have some fun. All weekend long, the Vero Beach Theater Guild will present The Unexpected Guest, a classic whodunit by Agatha Christie. This evening at 5.30 p.m., the Vero Beach Elks Lodge will kick off the countdown to St. Patrick's Day with a dinner and dance. On Saturday, there will be a golf tournament to benefit the Samaritan Center, a no-flea market to benefit the Humane Society, and a free community block party in Sebastian hosted by Coastal Community Church. For more information about these or other events, be sure to check out our community calendar. Well, that's it for us this week. Be sure to email us your news by sending it to newstips at veronews.com. Follow us on Twitter and friend us on Facebook. Until next time, have a great week.